Okay, so now we're going to use the offset parent matrix uh, to constrain uh, one object to multiple objects. So in this case, we'll have one prop that will be constrained to uh, one of two hands. Uh, just so, just imagine that this is, you know, one arm, uh, one hand, and this is the other arm, and the other hand, and uh, this is the prop. And it'll be constrained either to nothing or one of these two hands. So in this case, we'll be selecting four different objects. We're going to select the prop, uh, the prop's parent, and then the two hands and go into the node editor. So I'll arrange these just to make things a little bit easier. So in this case I'll have the prop over to one side, put the hands on the top and the prop's parent on the bottom. Then we'll need to create two uh, multiply matrix nodes. So just inside the node editor hit the tab key, bring up the little search box and Start typing MULT until you see a multiplying matrix. And then with that selected, then you can do just a copy and paste, and now you have two. So now we'll be adding two inputs on each of these uh, multiplying matrix nodes. So with one selected, just go to the attribute editor and add two nodes. Select the other and add uh, two inputs. Then you can start connecting things up. So this is going to be for the left hand, and this is going to be for the right hand. So for the left hand, we'll get the world matrix and put that into uh, the first matrix input. And then we'll take the right hand, get the world matrix, put that into the other matrix input. <clears throat> and we'll take uh, the world inverse matrix with the props parent and put that into uh, the second matrix input of both of the multiplied matrix nodes. So now what we have is we have uh, the right hand local matrix and this would be the other hands local matrix. So now we need to create uh, the blend for these two uh, matrices. So hit the tab key, look for blend matrix. Then with that selected, go to the attribute editor and we want to add two targets. So now we should have two targets. So we can take uh, the local matrix uh, from the left hand, add that to the first target, and then we can take uh, the matrix from the other hand and add that to the second target. And now we can take the output from the blend and put that into the offset parent matrix of the prop. So right off the bat you can see that now uh, the prop is 
constrained to one of the hands. And you'll notice that in the targets they do have these weight values. So if you change the last weight value, you'll see that it pops over uh, to the other hand. And if you change the envelope of the blend, then you see the constraint no longer has an effect. To make things convenient for the animators, uh, we can add some attributes uh, so they, that way they can animate uh, the constraints. So we'll just select the prop. Go and modify add attribute. The first one we'll just do uh, blend on off. Make sure float. Set minimum uh, to zero, maximum to one, and default uh, to one. And just do add. Then we'll add the other one. We'll call this one left right. And minimum zero, maximum one, and we'll just do the default uh, to zero. And then just hit OK. So you go to the prop, and we'll go to the left right. And then we'll connect that to the weight of the second target. So the effect will be that now we can make the constraint, uh, the prop, go from one hand to the other hand. Then we go to our blend on off and connect that to the envelope of the blend. So now you can see uh, we have a line connecting the blend off to the envelope and the right left connecting to the weight. So the effect of that will be <clears throat> that the constraint is turned on and off. So because we're using the offset matrix, it's nice for the animators because it leaves the transforms free. So that way they can just grab uh, the prop, you know, move whatever, you know, even do some scaling. And when they blend, everything just goes along very nicely.